What's up, family? Welcome to Real Talk Tuesdays. This is where we're going to have um, a different person come on once a week to share part of their story for the purpose of empowering and inspiring others. We're going to get this started with this beautiful young lady, Dainika. I know a great deal of her story. And so we're going to get Real Talks Tuesdays started with her. Um, I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of where she came from and where she's evolved to. Um, talk to us, Dainika. What's up with you? Hey, y'all. How's it going? Um, I'm just gonna, you know, share some how my life used to be. Um, I was part of that street life. Um, I gangbanged. I sold drugs. Um, did a little bit of whatever trying to fit in with friends that I thought that was friends and um, come to find out they wasn't really my friend. In the midst of being a part of the street life, I lost custody of my children. Um, when I went maybe like six years of not having my children around, um, emotions all over the place during that time. I um, ended up pregnant during that separation of my older children and I experienced abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, um, just you name it, I've been, been through, through it. Um, my life was real dark, real ugly. Um, I used to go out and steal stuff just to survive. Um, being a young age on the streets is very scary. If you don't know what you're getting into, the streets can swallow you up and they can have you become a person that you don't even know. Um, and then it, we can't, then it leads to anger, depression, has you stressed out. Um, I was so depressed. And so stress of not having my children around to where it felt like I didn't know who I really was. Um, in the midst of all that, um, I thought getting married would be the way to go to make things easier, make things better, make my life brighter, be happier. But in all return, um, I experienced a bad situation of domestic violence. Um, showing up to see my children, see my mom with um, bruises on my face, knots on my head. Um, it was not a good feeling. Um, I was living a life where I cut my own family off from being accused of messing with these different guys. I just, I ended up cutting all of my male relatives off and just became isolated, um, thinking that it was the way life needed to be. And it was all wrong. Um, and I kept, you know, just going through every day, just trying to figure out how can I make things better? Well, make a long story short, I overcame. I left the gang banging alone. I left the drug selling alone. And went from shelter to shelter um, throughout the state of California. And I overcame my weakness. Um, I got reunited with my children. Um, and in the midst of being reunited with my children, um, made my relationship with my mom stronger and better. Um, I'm able to enjoy the life of my beautiful grandchildren now. Um, and now I just sit back and look at my own life and I'm thankful that everything that I've been through, all the different types of abuse, um, I'm thankful that I, that God gave me the strength to deal with it, to go through it and to overcome it. Um, one thing I had to learn is I had to remove myself from a lot of negative people. 
And in the midst of removing myself from negative people, um, I had to cut off a lot of my own family members that are toxic, that are negative. I had to cut off friends that were around me for the last 10, 15, 20 years plus of my family. Um, I just had to, you know, get in a place where I had to refocus. Um, I began praying more. Um, my life is a lot more peaceful now. Um, sometimes you have to realize it, it takes something small to make it something big. Um, and when, by saying that, you might have to go through a transformation. And so whether it's getting your hair cut, um, losing weight or whatever, you never know how something small can be a part of something so big. Um, I was so stressed because everybody that I was attached to that was a part of my life, either they treated me wrong, um, they walked out of my life, or they made me feel like I was less than them, and that's not true. Um, I had to cut my own dad off because of some of the negative things that he would say once I became an adult, and it wasn't good. So, if you have anybody in your life that's not positive, they're not supporting you, they're not uplifting you, cut them off. And trust me, it makes things all worthwhile. Cool. Thank you. Um, speaking of positive, you have something that's like crazy cool coming up in two weeks. What's that? Yes, I do. Um, my daughter, my third oldest child, is graduating from high school with honors. She's landed a basketball scholarship to a four-year university, and I'm very thankful, I'm very grateful for her. She's one of the biggest supporters. She's my encourager. She became my best friend. Um, and to just see her stay motivated, stay focused, and stay determined to reach her goal through everything that we've been through in our immediate family, in our household, and just in our family overall, it's a very good feeling to see her be the first one of my children, but also the first female of our family to land a basketball scholarship and see her make it as far as she's came. So I'm very proud of her. Not only has she made the newspaper, but she will be on the news um, real soon and she's, she, she's shiny. So she's keeping me going by her, her strength and her shining. That's cool. You know, so, hey, again, this is all about empowering and inspiring others. Um, the simple fact that God saw fit to bring you back into your kid's life at this time and to help your daughter blossom and to grow and reach her full potential to where she's now being lifted up to the world, you know, because she has that foundation of seeing her mom go through all that she did and yet see you turn around and do everything that you had to do in order to get custody of your kids back. All the classes you had to take and all the court stuff that you had to do, she saw you put that effort in to change your life. And now that gives her so much hope, and gives her so much ambition and drive, knowing that, hey, she may not be perfect, but she doesn't have to be perfect. She's gonna make mistakes. And that's okay, we all make mistakes. Pick yourself up and continue on. Keep chasing your dreams. I thank you, I salute you. You're an inspiration to me. Um, matter of fact, I came over here a few days ago and I was talking to Danika um, about when was she gonna start sharing her story? You know, she has so much to share, so much to share um, with young women that are struggling with raising kids, single moms, the streets, um, there's so much that she's gone through that I know of. And I was like, man, you have such a testimony. When are you gonna start talking about that? When are you gonna start sharing that? And then it just like hit me while I'm here talking to her. It's like, 
look stupid, why don't you <laughs> have her on the video and why don't you set up this thing and put her on the platform, you know? And it's like, wow. And so just talking to her and trying to get her to share her story became such an inspiration to me and her story is the motivation you know, or it's the inspiration of Real Talk Tuesdays. And we'll be having different people coming on. And all of that started with her, her story, and just the transformation that she's made in her life. My hope and prayer is that you find somebody that you can connect with somebody, you hear somebody's story, or you share your story um, so that you inspire, encourage, and motivate somebody else to come out of their funk, to come out of their darkness, because we've all been there. Right. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace. Peace.